is equidistant from K O and R. The bearing of K O from P is 70 degrees and the bearing of R from P is 130 degrees. What is the bearing of R from K O? Let's illustrate this information on the diagram. The three points here are point P, point K O and point R. Let's assume that this is point P, this is point K O and this is point R. The question tells us that P is equidistant from K O and R. What it means is that the distance from P to K O is the same as the distance from P to R. So the length of the line PKO is equal to the length of the line PR. I'll join point KO to point R to form the triangle PKOR. The question wants us to find the bearing of R from KO. So the question wants us to find this angle because this angle is what will give us the bearing of R from Q. We know that from here to here is 90 degrees. From here to here is 90 degrees. So in order to get the bearing of R from Q, we need to find the small angle formed here so that we can add it to 90 degrees and 90 degrees. Let's go back to the question. It says that the bearing of K O from P is 70 degrees. The bearing of K O from P is 70 degrees. What it means is that this angle here is 70 degrees. The bearing of K O from P is given by this angle. And the question says it's 70 degrees. We know that from here to here, it's 90 degrees. So if the angle here is 70 degrees, then it means that the remaining angle here will be 90 degrees minus 70 degrees, which will give us 20 degrees. The question continues to say that the bearing of R from P is 130 degrees. The bearing of R from P is 130 degrees. The bearing of R from P will be given by this total angle. This total angle will give us the bearing of R from P. We already know that from here to here is 90 degrees. So the remainder will be 130 degrees minus 90 degrees, which is 40 degrees. When we look at this diagram carefully, we can see that the 20 degrees angle formed here and the angle here are alternate angles. From plane geometry, we know that alternate angles are equal. So if the angle formed here is 20 degrees, it means that the angle formed here is also 20 degrees. We know that the distance PQ is equal to the distance PR. What it means is that in the triangle PKOR, the angles formed at the base are equal. So this angle is equal to this angle. It means that if this angle is X, then this angle is also X. The interior angle here is 20 degrees plus 40 degrees, which will give us 60 degrees. 60 degrees, X and X forms the interior angles of the triangle PQR. From mensuration, we know that when we sum the interior angles of a triangle, we will get 180 degrees. So it means that 60 degrees from the triangle 60 degrees plus x plus x is equal to 180 degrees x plus x will give us 2x 
and 2x will be equal to 180 degrees minus 60 degrees. 180 degrees minus 60 degrees will give us 120 degrees. And so 2x will be equal to 120 degrees. To get x, I'll divide both sides by 2. So I'll divide the left-hand side by 2 and the right-hand side by 2. And x will give us 60 degrees. So it means that the angle here is 60 degrees and the angle here is also 60 degrees. So you can see that the triangle PQR is an equilateral triangle because the interior angles are equal. Each one of them is 60 degrees. Let's look at the diagram again. We know that from here to here is 20 degrees and we have just found out that from here to here is 60 degrees. But if we look at it carefully, we can see that the angle from here to here the total angle is 90 degrees. So if here is 20 degrees and here is 60 degrees, then it means that this small angle here, the one we are looking for, will be equal to 90 degrees minus 20 degrees minus 60 degrees. And that will give us 10 degrees. So it means that the small angle here is 10 degrees. We now have the angle we are looking for. So we can find the bearing of R from Q. Remember when we started, we said the bearing of R from K will be given by this whole angle here. From here to here is 90 degrees. From here to here is 90 degrees. And we have now found out that this small angle here is 10 degrees. And so the bearing of R from K will be equal to 90 degrees plus 90 degrees, which is 180 degrees plus 10 degrees, which is the small angle here. 180 degrees plus 10 degrees will give us 190 degrees. And so the bearing of R from K is 190 degrees.